So I'll start off by talking about Argentine ants. Mention that if you see one, you're likely to see others. Then cockroaches. Focus on German cockroaches. House mice. They are curious creatures. And Norway rats. They're cautious. OK, then. Oh, my class is here. I got to go. When pests run around your school, you've got a problem. Pests can carry disease and cause health problems. And since kids spend a lot of time at school, it's important to keep their school environment safe and healthy. For us, that means reducing the number of pests and reducing the need for pesticides as much as possible. So how do we achieve both goals? Through IPM. That's short for Integrated Pest Management, and it's the preferred method of managing pests in schools. You focus on keeping pests out of your school by making it unattractive to them. Then, manage pests using non-chemical practices. Pesticides only come into play after careful monitoring shows you that acceptable level of pests have been exceeded and non-chemical methods have failed. Perfect. We're environmental scientists with the California Department of Pesticide Regulation. Our video series will teach you about using IPM at schools so that you can deal with pests in a simple, effective way that makes sense. This series is broken up into 10 short films, so it's easy to watch. I'll be your host. And if you need more guidance, we have a website full of resources and information. Oh, Whoa. so that's where that went. I'll meet you outside as soon as I get the situation under control. And I'll tell you why IPM will make your job easier.